what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Felene back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back for another video. For today's video, I have a review for you guys. I'm going to be reviewing the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and Setting Powder. There are a ton of complexion products that have been launching over the past couple of weeks. I'm slowly getting my hands on them because I do want to pump out a good bit of reviews for you guys on the new products. But I was able to find the in my Ulta finally and I went ahead and picked them up today on my lunch break and figured I would come home and sit down and film for you guys so that if you're interested in these products you can kind of get a little bit of my two cents my opinion about them and whether or not I think they are worth your coins so before we get started if you are new to my channel definitely be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below and join my fam if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the review all right guys so I've got you zoomed in up close and personal welcome this is me in all my glory. So I did go ahead and prime my face off camera and for those of you guys that might be interested in what I used, I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer as well as the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. Both of these are in my everyday makeup stash for the month of February. What? No. For the month of January. I'm already trying to make this year go by faster than it's already going. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and used these to prime my face and then I set my primers down with the Cover FX matte setting powder in the shade medium if you have oily skin and you have not tried setting your primers before foundation i highly recommend trying it because listen just trust me you need to try it out so as i mentioned in the intro i'm of course going to be demoing for you guys the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer as well as the setting powder but first i'm going to go ahead and apply foundation and i figured i'd go ahead and use the foundation that goes with this line so i have the can't stop won't stop full coverage foundations in the shade honey and cinnamon both of these shades actually work for me which speaks for the amazing shade range that this foundation has it was actually pretty difficult for me to figure out what my shade would be because there were so many options but one of these foundations is just a warm version and the other one is a neutral and together they just work really well on my skin so I'm going to go ahead and mix them together and apply them all over my face. And then to blend it out, I'm gonna be using this little brush from Real Techniques. It actually came as part of a holiday set a couple of years ago, so I'm just gonna use this to blend out the foundation. And I did do a full dedicated review on this foundation on my channel when it first launched. So if that's something that you're interested in, I will definitely link that for you so that you can check it out. Okay, so foundation is on, and now for what we're all here for, the concealer and the setting powder. So this is what the packaging of the concealer looks like. Of course, like I said, it's the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. And I have mine in the shade Neutral Tan. So I'm going to use this to go ahead and highlight my face. Okay, so first off, just applying it to my face. It's super creamy. I also really like the applicator. It's kind of like an angled applicator that just fits really nicely under the eye. And this concealer is super, super smooth and super creamy. And now that I have it applied, I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender. Okay, now one thing I will go ahead and mention right off the bat is that this concealer seems like it's actually drying pretty quickly. I was kind of letting it sit on my skin for a second, but ooh, it is definitely drying super fast. So I would recommend probably working in sections with this concealer as opposed to just applying it all over your entire face and then going back and blending it out. It's drying super fast.
Okay, so this is what the concealer is looking like now that I've blended it out. And I have to say, it actually looks really, really good. Like, really good. It smoothed out my under eyes really nicely. And also in this area where I have larger pores, it actually seems to have smoothed that out some too. And it's not like accentuating or making my pores look worse. It's actually kind of just settling into all of those areas really nicely. And the other thing that I noticed too is on my forehead, normally when after I blend out my forehead, I go ahead and set my forehead right away, otherwise it will immediately start to crease. But I'm noticing that with this concealer, there's no creases in my forehead whatsoever. I have not set my forehead yet. Um, and I think that may just be from how quickly the concealer sets. Because as you guys saw when I was blending it out, it was drying down pretty quickly. I was not expecting it to be drying down that fast. It was like... But besides that, so far I'm really liking the way that it looks. I kind of wish I had gotten a lighter color because this color, it doesn't really highlight that much. It's kind of like a natural... It's like slightly lighter than my foundation, but it's kind of like a natural under eye concealer. Um, it doesn't really do much for brightening my under eyes, so I do kind of wish that I had gotten a lighter shade. So those are my first impressions about the concealer, but now I'm going to go ahead and move in to the setting powder, which I think out of the two I'm probably the most excited for because it's so hard to find a good drugstore setting powder, so I'm hoping that this will be one. So I got mine in the shade Banana because I just feel like you can never go wrong with a good banana powder, so that's what I went ahead and picked up. And this is what the inside of the powder looks like. And the top actually has like a little uh, raised portion to it that sits right inside of the powder. So that will help, especially if you're traveling or taking the powder on the go, it will help to keep it from getting everywhere. So I'm just gonna kinda dump some of this out and go ahead and start setting my face. And before I set my under eye, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just blend it out and then go in and set it. Just to make sure that I don't set the creases. Even though this concealer really is not creasing under my eyes hardly at all. But I just want to make sure that it's super smooth under my eye before I go in and set it with the powder. Okay, so I'm a little on the fence as far as a first impression with the setting powder. I may change my mind once I actually finish the rest of my face and set everything down with a setting spray. It's a little bit yellow for me. Like, I know it's a banana powder, but it's kind of like yellow. And like I said, some of that may just be because the powder is not completely melted into my skin yet because I haven't set everything with a setting spray. Um, so I'm not going to speak on it just yet. It does seem to have set my under eye concealer and just my face in general really nicely. It doesn't look too too dry. Um, and again, it's not accentuating any of my texture or anything like that on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to let you guys know my final thoughts. Alright guys, so I am back and this is the final look, the final face, everything together, set, the whole situation. This is what it is looking like. And honestly, I haven't quite decided how I feel about the products. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit torn. So I'm going to get into that in just a second, but I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know a couple of the specifics about the products. So first and foremost, the concealer. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. It's available in 24 shades. So the claims for this concealer are that it is supposed to be a lightweight formula that is blendable, matte, and that camouflages your imperfections while also brightening your skin. You can use it to contour as well. It's supposed to be a multitasking concealer that delivers full coverage with a finish that lasts for 24 hours. And it is, of course, supposed to complement the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Also, the concealer retails for $8.49 at Ulta. I know that price will probably vary a little bit depending on where you pick it up, but at Ulta, it does retail for $8.49. Now, for the setting powder, it comes in six different shades. It retails for $11.99. 
And the claims for the setting powder are that it is supposed to be a silky soft hue that provides a veil of color that feels comfy and extends across multiple skin tones. It's supposed to be a feather light formula that absorbs oil while leaving your complexion smooth, matte, and fresh looking. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts about the products. Like I said, I'm a little bit on the fence. I will say that I do think that the concealer is definitely full coverage and it gives you a very flawless finish to the skin. I do think that I was a little caught off guard by how quickly it dried down. I'm used to having matte concealers. A good bit of my concealers are a matte formula, which I do prefer because I am, um, because I do have oily skin. But I have yet to try a concealer that dried down as quickly as this one. You guys saw in the demo that I didn't even really have it on my skin that long and it was already drying and setting in the place that I had applied it on my face. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure that I love that about the concealer, honestly. Now the pro to that is that once it did set, it did not budge. I even mentioned to you guys in the demo that usually my forehead will start creasing if I don't set it right after I blend it out. And I did not see any creasing in my forehead whatsoever. I don't see any creasing on my face right now whatsoever. I, of course, just finished applying the product, but I don't see any creasing on my face whatsoever. And even in between applying the concealer and the setting powder, Powder, there was very minimal creasing so that is definitely a plus to this concealer I think the other thing that may be throwing me off a little bit is that it's not really brightening my under eye and that doesn't have anything to do with the concealer itself I think that is just the shade I was a little bit afraid to go any lighter than this one because the other shades that were in front of this shade I felt like might be too light for my skin tone but I'm kind of feeling like I may need to go a little bit lighter because I just feel like my face is kind of flat, if that makes sense. Um, I usually like a little bit more of a brightening effect under my eyes and down the center of my face. And right now I just feel like it's all pretty much the same um, color. And I think that maybe what is throwing me off and making me feel like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I might feel different about it if I have a lighter shade. But as far as the actual formula, the application of the product, um, and just my overall general first impression of the actual product, I definitely give it a thumbs up for sure. Like I said, it is full coverage. It blends out really nicely. You just have to work a little bit quickly because it is going to set pretty fast. But once it's set, it is flawless. It looks beautiful. And yeah, so I definitely give it a thumbs up. Now for the setting powder, I think the setting powder is nice, but I'm not blown away by it if that makes sense like I have a literal entire drawer full of setting powders I am a setting powder junkie because I do have oily skin I love to bake my face I love to try out new products I just have a ton of setting powders and with this one like I said I just I, I like it I don't not like it but it's like, I'm not like, whoa, blown away by it. And I kind of really hate to say that because I was really excited about trying out the setting powder. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there are other setting powders out there that just work a little bit better on my skin. Because the thing about my skin is I am very oily, but underneath my eyes, I tend to be a little bit more dry. So of course, I need a setting powder that is going to set and keep my concealer in place but I don't want it to be too, too matte. And this setting powder is a very, very matte setting powder. I think this would actually probably work better for me as an all over the face setting powder. So what I may do is actually swap this out for a shade that is closer to my skin tone and use it as an all over the face setting powder. That may work a little bit better for me. But underneath the eyes, it's just a little bit too matte for me and i'll zoom you guys in and just show you like a really up close of my under eye but it just looks kind of like dry and cracky like right up in this area and ooh, i don't know i think it's just a little too matte for my under eye but i do think it applied to the skin beautifully and like even in this area where it, it kind of got brought down on my forehead and on my chin it looks flawless it looks beautiful like it looks stunning so that's why i'm saying i feel like maybe i just need to 
get one that is closer to my overall skin tone and just use it to set my entire face but directly up under my eye it's definitely accentuating those dry areas and kind of just making it look not really that appealing so yeah I kind of feel bad because like I said I really wanted to like these products but I have to keep it 100 with you guys I went out I bought these products with my own money and the whole purpose of me doing these reviews for you guys is to let you guys know the honest raw truth of how the products perform and whether or not I feel like they're worth your coins now of course this is a first impression so I will continue using the products and will give you guys an update on whether or not my thoughts and opinions about the products change in the future but as of right now I I would say that with all the competition that the drugstore is coming with with the products that are available to purchase as far as complexion products are concerned I think that these are good but I don't think that they're like bomb blow you away amazing products now of course if you're somebody that was wanting to try out these products I say definitely go and pick them up try them out for yourself you may have a different experience especially if you have a different skin type than me you may have a different experience with the products if you've tried them out and you have a different thought or a different opinion or maybe you use them differently than I use them in this video let me know down below in the comments I of course would love to hear your guys's thoughts and opinions on how you guys like the product and yeah I guess that's all that I have for you guys. I don't want to start talking in circles. I would say overall the products are good. I do like them, but I wasn't, I feel like they were really hyped up and I was super excited about trying them and they didn't exceed my expectations. That doesn't mean they weren't good. Like I said, they just weren't, they just didn't exceed my expectations. I'm not blown away by it. So that is all that I have for you guys for today's video. I hope that you guys appreciate my honesty and enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. If you have not already, also be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video.